In February of 2022, 35-year-old Simon Nellis was the victim of one of the most brutal shark attacks on record. It captured world headlines not only for its sheer brutality, but being one of the only fatal great white shark attacks caught almost entirely on video. But what were the factors that led to its aggression? This is the story of the Sydney shark attack. horrifically taken by a great white shark off our coast, had been training for a weekend charity swim. The 35-year-old from Walleye Creek was also a keen diver and a regular visitor to Little Bay. It was around 4pm on Wednesday the 16th of February that Simon Nellis, training for the Malabar Magic Ocean swim race, would enter the water for the very last time. Possibly unbeknown to Mr Nellis, February had brought with it a La Nino weather cycle. The unusually warm currents had attracted several larger species of fish. While fishermen likely welcomed this opportunity, it had led to several sightings of sharks in the days prior. Originally from the United Kingdom, 35-year-old Simon was an experienced diving instructor and a former engineer in the Royal Air Force. After immigrating from the UK to Australia, he lived with his longtime partner and fiance Jess, and the two of them were engaged to be married. Simon, a lover of the ocean and all things in it, was an advocate for shark preservation. A Facebook post from six months prior reads with a chilling dose of irony. Shark nets and drum lines protect no one and kill all kinds of marine life. At around 4 pm on Wednesday, the 16th of February 2022, Simon entered the water near Malabar for his usual 3km swim to Little Bay. Shark experts commonly agree there are three things people entering the water should avoid. Swimming at dusk, being close to people fishing, and being alone. The route from Malabar to Little Bay, with a shelf of deep, dark water passing directly through a popular fishing spot, was a trifecta of risk. However, there'd been no fatal shark attacks in Sydney for almost 60 years, a fact some say had led to complacency. At around 4.30pm, Simon reached Buckin Point, 10 metres off the rocks off a popular angler's fishing spot. A witness fishing off the rocks describes what happened next. Some guy was swimming and a shark came and attacked him vertically. We heard a yell and turned around. It looked like a car had landed in the water, a big splash, and then the shark. Another witness told 7 News Australia he was swimming full speed around the headlands when he suddenly screamed for help as a great white shark attacked him just 10 metres off the rocks. A graphic video shared online showed that the victim sustained catastrophic, unsurvivable injuries during a relentless and frenzied attack lasting almost 5 minutes. In the immediate aftermath of the tragedy, all beaches in the vicinity were closed and authorities searched for what little remained of the victim. There have been touching tributes on Sydney beaches and from around the world for British expat Simon Nellist, who was fatally attacked by that monster Great White. Swimmers returned to the ocean today. His former comrades today remembering him as a gentle giant who had the capacity to see the best in everything. The incident was believed to be Sydney's first fatal shark attack since 1963. Sydney had such a good record when it came to shark attacks that many were quick to defend open water swimming as safe. However, others argued that the good record was a result of people sticking to the inner protected areas close to the beaches, and that open water swimming was definitely risky. In the days following the attack, accusations of chumming, throwing offal into the water to attract larger fish, were almost immediately directed at the fishermen, an allegation they firmly denied. A fisherman going simply by the name of Bruno stated, the area of the attack is inherently risky for swimming and spearfishing. Anglers have fished that spot forever, and their activities do not attract sharks. The sharks are already there. Shark attacks remain incredibly rare. In 2021, there were 73 unprovoked shark attacks worldwide, nine of which were fatal. 
In the USA, there were 47 incidents, one was fatal. In Australia, 12 attacks resulted in three deaths. And New Zealand, South Africa, and Brazil each experienced one fatality from three attacks. Della Rose, a friend of Simon Nellist, told Seven News, everything that is connected to Simon, to me, is connected to the ocean. The news hit us like a truck because he is really one of the people that makes this earth better.